Well, as COVID cases soaring, so are hospitalizations nationwide. WJCL's Dave Williams spoke with healthcare leaders who have an urgent message tonight. The frustration clearly visible Monday morning from health care providers from the Coastal Health District. But for some reason, we cannot get this message to our communities. Health care providers realize that this is a pandemic of the unvaccinated um, and largely avoidable. And that's very frustrating. The St. Joseph's Candler Hospital System is treating 97 COVID patients as of Monday morning, the most ever during the pandemic. It's a similar story for Memorial Health. They are treating over 100 COVID patients, including seven deaths just last week. We need your support again. We're asking for your help. Please wear a mask to protect yourself and others, and please get vaccinated. This is the support healthcare workers need right now and what the community needs to keep us all safe. We've learned a lot about how to better treat this disease and prevent death for most, but we've also learned from this same science and research that the most effective and best strategy to not be harmed by this infection is through vaccination. And more people are coming around. Jamar Frank, an executive assistant at J.C. Lewis Primary Care, became fully vaccinated two weeks ago after deciding to protect his family and seeing the rise in cases. And I certainly didn't want to be a part of that population that was the reason for that um, number continuing to rise. And so I wanted to do my part as a health care provider, as a father, as a husband, and just be responsible when, as, it, as it pertains to this pandemic. In Savannah, Dave Williams, WJCL 22 News.